والصلاه والسلام على اشرف المرسلين محمد بن عبد الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن والاه رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم اجعل تجمعنا هذا تجمع المرحوم وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا ولا بيننا شقيا ولا محروما انك ولي ذلك والقادر عليه This is the second part two of three of the uh, Islamic perspective of Isa alayhi salam, Jesus peace be on to him, according to the Quran and the Sunnah. Last session we stopped at the birth of Isa alayhi salam and we mentioned that his mother has, peace be on to her, Mary, Maryam in the Arabic language, has withdrew herself to a place in the east and that's inside the old city of Jerusalem, inside the greater wall of the old city of Jerusalem, which is a place of Tawheed, meaning that invoking the oneness of the one and the only one that's worthy of worship, and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty. And during her pregnancy, something that's worthwhile mentioning, when her cousin, her, his name was uh, Yusuf ibn Ya'qub, Joseph the son of Jacob, not the prophets, but rather uh, they would use the names of the prophets in order to you know, look up to them and adopt some of the qualities and the traits of the prophets. So they would name their children after the names of the, of the prophets and the messengers. So he had an encounter with Mary, and that's her cousin on the, on the maternal side. And he asked her, as he noticed that she was pregnant and it was well known that she was not married. He asked her, is it possible for you know, uh, fruits and vegetables to grow without the seed? She said, yes, of course. The Almighty God created the fruits and the vegetables without any seeds. Then he said, is it possible for uh, a newborn or a baby to be born without a male, without the male figure? She said, absolutely. Uh, Adam, peace be unto him, was born without a father and a mother. And this is what the Quran account actually tells us that the example of Isa salam, Jesus is like the example of Adam as uh, stated in the Quran in the third chapter إن مثل عيسى عند الله كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون The example of Jesus peace be on to him in the sight of the creator the one and the only one creator that is Allah peace be uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala is like the example of Adam uh, he created him without a father and without a mother. He simply said, be, and it is, and he was born. So Mary responded that Adam, peace be unto him, was created without a father or a mother. Then he said, well, tell me your story. What is your story, the specifics about you? Then she narrated ayah, verse number 44 and verse number 45 in the third chapter of the Quran, titled, uh, Al Imran, the people of Imran, which is Imran, as we mentioned, that's her father, and her mother is Hannah. And she began to recite, وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يُبَشِّرُكِ بِكَلِمَةٍ مِنْهُ اسمه المسيح عيسى بن مريم وَجِيهًا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَمِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ Here, uh, in these two ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the good news to Maryam, Mary, peace be on to her, that she will bear uh, Isa, Jesus peace be unto him, and the Quran often times referred to Isa as Jesus the son of Mary, Jesus the son of Mary, Jesus the son of Mary, to establish that lineage without any doubt that Jesus peace be unto him is born to a mother that is a single mother and was a miraculous but not a mysterious birth because when it comes to the Almighty we said that the rules of the universe do not apply to the Creator, they simply apply to the created and here the Creator decreed that Jesus, peace be unto him, be born to a single mother without the interference of a male. So when she began to recite these ayat, it introduces to who is Jesus, peace be unto him. وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةِ When the angels called unto Mary, إِنَّ اللَّهِ يُبَشِّرُكِ بِكَلِمَةٍ مِّنْهُ اسْمُهُ الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمِ That the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you the news of the birth of Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary. And he sent Jibreel, as we mentioned, uh, as the story is narrated, in a chapter in the Quran titled Mary. And Jibreel, peace be unto him, uh, blew into uh, what we refer to as, you know, the, like the neck of the dress, if you will, or the thaw, which is the garment that a woman or a man wears. So he did not blow directly into the womb of Mary, of Mary, but he rather blew into the neck, which is the entry point for the head of the dress of a woman. And 
Then Mary Esparta got pregnant with Jesus, and now the Quran is introducing us as to who is Jesus, peace be unto him. وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَاكِتُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يُبَشُّوكِ بِكَلِمَةٍ مِّنْهُ اسْمُهُ الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ وَجِيهًا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَمِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ So here the Quran tells us, defines for us who is Jesus, peace be unto him, and the role that Jesus will play with respect to, you know, his role on earth and with mankind. That he's going to be a wise person. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to teach him, uh, you know, the Torah, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And that he's going to teach him wisdom, and he's going to support him with miracles. And some of these miracles are mentioned in the third chapter of the Quran, again titled Al Imran. And he will speak to people in the cradle, as we're about to narrate what the encounter between Jesus Peter and him, his mother, and the Israelites at the time that he was sent to as a prophet and a messenger after Moses, peace be upon him, has passed away. وَأُنَبِّكُمْ بِمَا تَأْكُلُونَ وَمَا تَدَّخِرُونَ فِي بِيُوتِكُمْ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with His will will enable Jesus peace be upon Him to tell people what that they eat and that which they store in their homes. And He will teach them the wisdom and He will teach them the Torah, the Old Testament and He will teach them the Injil, the New Testament. And He will speak to them in the cradle and He will speak to them in His old age. And He will cure those who have skin disease and He will cure those who are blind, cannot see, and he will bring the dead from, you know, their graves with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of that, all of these are miracles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has supported Jesus, peace be unto him. The one he sent as an ayah of mercy. An ayah of mercy means that a sign of mercy, calling to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we read in the Quran, throughout the Quran, that the Quran speaks of the oneness of one and only one that is worthy of worship. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So does the Old Testament and so does the New Testament as it begins with Thy shall not worship but one God. Thy shall not worship but one God. Meaning that this God cannot be divided. This God is not three. This God is not a father, a son, and the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. This God is one integral God. We don't know a whole lot about who God is except by way of his divine names and attributes by way of his creation, by way of our creation and our interaction with him, by way of worshiping him and relying and putting our trust in him. Now we go back to the chapter of Mary. Maryam, as we said, peace be unto her, she withdrew herself to the trunk of a palm tree as she began to deliver Jesus, peace be unto him. And he called unto her, be it the angel or Jesus, peace be unto him himself, as he called from underneath her, do not be saddened and do not be afraid that the Almighty has caused a spring of water to emerge from underneath you. And he commands you to shake you know, the trunk of the palm tree. And she did, of course, she's in no position to really shake the trunk of a palm tree, but she did as she was commanded, as the Almighty commanded her to do. So the dates began to fall, so she ate and she drank, and then now she's commanded not to speak to anyone. So now it's her confrontation with the Israelites, who lived at that time as they began to question her right off the start, قَالُوا يَا مَرْيَمْ لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْئًا فَرِيَّةً They said, oh Mary, you have brought something of hideous, something that is hideous, something that is of tremendous proportions. You have committed a grave sin. مَا كَانَ أَبُوكِ مْرَأَ سَوْءٍ وَمَا كَانَتْ أُمُّكِ بَغِيَّةً Your father was not known to be a person who would commit sin. Neither was your mother. She was not a prostitute, God forbid. Uh, at that point, she could not speak because she vowed not to speak. At that point, Jesus, peace be upon him, began to speak. And the first words he uttered, قَالَ إِنِّي عَبْدُ اللَّهِ The first words that Jesus, peace be upon him, uttered after, immediately after his birth, said, قَالَ إِنِّي عَبْدُ اللَّهِ He said, I am the slave, the devotee, the worshipper of Allah. Meaning that I am a created being, just like everybody else. He gave me the book, and he has made, you, made me a prophet. And he has given me the New Testament, and he sent me as a prophet and a messenger, and he has made me blessed wherever I might be. And he has commanded me to establish salah, prayers, 
And he commanded me to establish zakat, zakat self and wealth purification. So long that I live, meaning that Jesus, peace be unto him, is a living being that is dependent on food and water. He has a mother, he has a lineage, he has relatives. The only one or the only thing that he does not have is a father, and that is the miraculous birth of Jesus, peace be unto him. وَأُصَانِي بِالصَّلَاةِ وَالزَّكَاةِ مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّةً وَبَرًّا بِوَالِدَتِي And he commanded me to practice, to practice the highest levels of birr, righteousness, good treatment, merciful treatment, respectful treatment towards my mother. مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّةً وَبَرًّا بِوَالِدَتِي وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْنِي جَبَّارًا شَقِيَّةً And he had not made me a tyrant. He has made me a merciful prophet. He has not made me a miserable one, but rather a guided and a man and a prophet of mercy. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about the dispute among the different factions. And he tells us the story of Jesus, peace be unto him, as the conspiracy began to assassinate Jesus, peace be unto him. Of course, we know that Zakaria, Zakaria has taken custody of Mary when she was young. And she was a devotee in Masjid al-Aqsa, uh, the mosque of al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. And he was, you know, the, the husband of Mary's aunt. So therefore he was the custodian and then he supplicated that the Almighty grant him a child and then the Almighty grant him a, you know, a child who was also a prophet, which is Yahya. So the disbelievers, those who did not accept Jesus, peace be unto him, as a prophet, at the time from among the Israelites have conspired to kill Zechariah. And they literally chased him until they found him hiding behind a tree and they cut him in half. Then, during the uh, birth, you know, during the birthday party, if you will, of the governor of Jerusalem at the time, uh, there was a conspiracy to also kill Yahya, which is the son of Zechariah, which is the cousin of Jesus, the cousin of Jesus, peace be unto him. So the conspiracy was is that there was a, a dancer at the birthday of this governor that the government has so much admired, and her mother said do not accept his proposal for marriage unless he gives you as a dowry the head of Yahya, the head of Yahya. So she went to the king and she said, my dowry is the head of Yahya. He said, ask for anything else but that. She said, this is it and nothing else. So she persuaded him to kill Yahya. The only prophet that is left at the time, of course, Zechariah and Yahya and Jesus Christ be unto him were sent at the same time for the same people. The only one that's left is Jesus Christ be unto him. Peace be unto him. And Jesus, peace be unto him, lived in the open area. He lived on earth. He did not have a house. He would move from one place to another, from one oasis to another, as he preached the concept of Tawheed, the worship of the one and only one God. And when he felt the conspiracy, and he was among his disciples, he told them in the last supper, he said, who will take my place? and will be resurrected with me like this on Judgment Day, meaning that will receive the same status with me on Judgment Day. A young man from among the disciples raised his hand. So Jesus, peace be unto him, he said, who will be, you know, who will take my place and be resurrected with me in the same status on Judgment Day? The same young man raised his hand the second time and the third time, then Jesus, peace be unto him, said, be it then. This man was caused to make to be made by the Almighty God as a look like of Jesus. And the Almighty God decreed that Jesus, peace be unto him, be caused to sleep. We don't know what form of sleep, but the Quran refers to that as a form of death. But we know from the Quran and from the Sunnah that is not the uh, ultimate form of death that each and every one of us much experience, must experience. So in the Quran, in the third chapter in Surah Al-Imran, فَلَمَّا أَحَسَّ عِيسَ مِنْهُ الْكُفْرَ قَالَ مَنْ أَنصَارِ إِلَى اللَّهِ So when Jesus, peace be unto him, realized that there's a conspiracy to assassinate him, and that these people are not going to accept him as prophet, he said, who will make me victorious, you know, uh, you know and make the religion of the Almighty God victorious? قَالَ الْحَوَارِيُّونَ نَحْنُ أَنصَارُ اللَّهِ وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّ وَمُطَهِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَجَعَلُوا الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ ثُمَّ إِلَيَّ مَرْجِعُكُمْ فَأُنَبِّئُكُمْ فَأَحْكُمَ بَيْنَكُمْ فِي مَا كُنْتُمْ فِيهِ تَخْتَلِفُونَ Then the Almighty God told him, O oh, Jesus, I shall cause you to die, meaning that the form of sleep, not the ultimate death, and I shall raise you to me with your body and soul. 
and on judgment day I shall, I shall settle the disputes. So here the Almighty narrates to us in more than one place in the Quran that مَا الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرِيَمْ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرَّسُولٌ And this is in a chapter called Al-Ma'idah, which is the feast that the disciples requested from Jesus, peace be upon him, to be descended upon them. As after, he, after Jesus commanded them to fast for 30 days, and they wanted this to be an act of celebration for them, and to comfort their hearts, and to believe in him as a prophet. So Jesus, peace be upon him, supplicated that this feeds the sin, so they ate from it, and everybody else in the thousands of actually eaten from that feast, and everybody who had an illness was cured as a result of eating from this blessed feast. So going back to the story of the death and resurrection of Jesus, peace be upon him. So the Almighty God caused him to die, and this young man was taken in his place, and the uh, disbelievers among the Israelites have captured this young man, have crucified him, and they put a lot of thorns over his head as an act of humiliation. And they crucified him thinking that they were crucifying Jesus, peace be upon him, but the Almighty God says in the Quran, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُ They did not kill him, they did not crucify him, however, a lookalike was taken into his place, and this person, this young man, was killed, was crucified in his place. Then the Almighty God says, فَاخْتَلَفَ الْأَحْزَابُ مِنْ بَيْنِهِمْ Now, as we see among the Christians, and it's a fact of life, it's a reality that we all experience, that the Christians have disputed among themselves into different factions believing in Jesus in different ways. Some of them believe in Him as a prophet, and that is a true article of faith which we all believe in all the prophets and the messengers as Muslims. Some of them believe in Him as the Son, and some of them believe in Him as... Uh, you know, the, the Holy Ghost, or one of the three, the concept of Trinity. But the Quran addresses every single one of these beliefs. And he commands the people of the book to seize such statements in Tahu. Do not argue about that which you have no knowledge of, which you have not witnessed, which you have no evidence to substantiate. And the fact that you have disputes among yourselves, it shows that Jesus, peace be upon him, was at best, at best, one party, one sect would be right. But the Quran tells us that none of them is correct. That the story of Jesus, the true account, is the only, the, the, the one and the only true account is mentioned in the Quran. مَنْ مَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرِيَمْ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ That Jesus, peace be unto him, is one of the mighty prophets that the Almighty has sent throughout the history of mankind from Adam all the way to uh, Muhammad, peace be unto them all. And that he, as part of his mission, came as an act of mercy calling to the one, to the worship of the one and the only one God, and to give the, the good news of the coming of the sealed prophet as mentioned in the Bible by the praised one. And the word Muhammad in the Arabic language means the praised one. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, uh, ayah number 75, the Almighty says that Jesus is not but a prophet as is the Sunnah, as is the way that the Almighty God have sent all these prophets and messengers to guide, to guide mankind. And his mother is a righteous woman. She was not a prostitute. She was not a sinful woman. She was a pure woman. She was, in fact, according to many of the statements of the Prophet, peace be unto him, the most righteous and the most pure woman to ever walk the face of the earth. And that is Maryam. Mary, the son, uh, the, the daughter of the people of Al Imran, the mother of Jesus, peace be unto him. Here the Almighty has given us a piece of information that is very important. It may be easily overlooked, but the significance of this word is that that they used to eat food. And someone who is divine is not in need of food. The Almighty God is not dependent on his creation. He's not dependent on the food and the water. But we know that any other living being is dependent on food and water. And we know the story of Isa, peace be unto him, Jesus. From birth, he used to nurse. And he used to eat. And he used to drink. And he used to walk on earth. And he used to shave. And he used to do everything that a human being did, except he did not marry women. So, thus, the Almighty decreed that he shall not marry women. So this is the true account of Jesus, peace be unto him. And the Almighty God invites all mankind, all those who lay claim to believe in him, 
and those who anticipate to meet the Almighty God in fa on favorable terms on Judgment Day to refer back to the Qur'an, the only divine revelation in existence at this point. As all other revelations, as we believe in, in the original form, have been corrupted, you know, well over a thousand or perhaps more than two thousand years ago. مَنْ مَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرَّسُولٌ So thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directs everyone to accept Jesus, peace be upon him, Muslims and the non-Muslims as one mighty prophet, as a righteous man, as a man of miracles, as a man of ethics, as a man who was a teacher, as well as he was a messenger. He was a teacher of the, uh, the disciples and the disciples that were around him, who made him victorious, who supported him, continued to propagate the oneness of the Almighty God, the message of the unity of one and only one God, until they were all murdered at the hands of those who conspired to extinguish the religion, you know, uh, of the Almighty God. This is simply, you know, the true account and the one and the only true account, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, that Isa ibn Maryam qawla al-haqq al-ladhi fihi yamtawun. This is the true account of Jesus, the son of Mary. The true words from the Almighty that those who dispute among, and then He gives warning on Judgment Day. In fact, there's a dialogue between the Almighty God and Jesus, peace be upon him, on Judgment Day as the Almighty questions him. Did you tell people to take you and your mother as two gods, aside from the Almighty God? The first word that Jesus, peace be upon him, which we'll all hear and witness, every single one of us. Did you tell people to take me, to take you, meaning Jesus, peace be upon him? And your mother, as two deities, aside from the Almighty, the first word he will utter say, Subhanak, to negate that which is inappropriate, unsuitable, unbefitting, to be attributed to the one and the only one God. I did not tell them except that which you've commanded me to say. And Allah, that you are my Lord, and you are their Lord. And I was a witness over them so long that I lived among them. But when you caused me to die, you are all, you are the witness over everyone as you always have been and you always will be. Now, we as Muslims believe that Jesus, peace be to him, and I will conclude with that, will return at the end of time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن مِّنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ That every single one, every member of the people of the book, the Christians and the Jews will believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, according to the true account of the Qur'an when he returns to lead the final battle between truth and falsehood, between the Muslims and the non-Muslims, to establish the true concept of Tawheed, the oneness uh, of the Almighty, the unity of the Almighty, and as he will kill the false Messiah, at that point he will not accept anything short of submission to the one and only one, God, and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the people that he was sent to, and that is, you know, the Jews and the Christians. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the best of the best, to guide us to that which pleases him, to guide us to the truth. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our hearts and minds to accept the truth for, uh, you know, for being the truth, and to, to uh, you know, enable us to grant us success to follow it, and to grant his success to evade you know, falsehood and to continue upon the straight path. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cause these words to reach the minds and the hearts of those who are listening. أقول قولي هذا واستغفروا سبحانك الله بحملك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته